Hello YouTube. This is a 2.25 microfarad capacitor which I have taken out from a ceiling fan. In this video, we'll see that what happens to the ceiling fan if I do not attach this capacitor to it. As we all know, our single phase induction motor are not capable of self-starting. So, as I switch on the power supply, this fan will not work. But there is something extra information. What is that? If you give it a push by your hand or by any other means in any direction, it will keep on rotating in that particular direction. There is one more disadvantage of not attaching a capacitor to it. The first disadvantage is that your fan gets heated up very soon. And the second disadvantage is that the speed with which your induction motor is rotating, it is decreased to a very much extent. So now let's see. Now I'm switching on the power supply. As we can see, our blades are pulsating, but they are not rotating. Now I'll give it a push by my hand. I have given it a push with my hand in anti-clockwise direction and now we can see that the fan is rotating it will not stop although the speed is very low it is also because of the capacitor but we can see it is rotating now let's again stop it i am switching off the power supply Oops, I can feel the heat here. Now I'm again switching on the power supply. I've done this. Now I'll give it a push in the opposite direction, like this one. Now you again, you can again see that our ceiling fan is rotating in the direction which is opposite to the previous one. So that means you can change the direction just by a push of your hand. So that is the basic idea of attaching a capacitor, this one, to the ceiling fan. So now I think you have understood why we attach a capacitor to it. If you want to know how to calculate the value of the capacitor, you have to see my other video. For that, for the time being, thank you very much.